Buyers make their best offers on the houses they see as the best buy on the block. The only way buyers can decide which house is the best is by comparing your home to other houses for sale. So your competition makes a big difference in how much you will sell for. Yeah, we, we try not to do only market data. Because I think that um, if they're in the mode to buy or sell, they care. But what about those seven years in between on average people move? Well, even, I think it's even five years now, but still, how do I say relevant in their life for the next five years before they buy or sell so that they reach out to me when it's time? And so for us, it's, you know, on our consumer stuff, it's very localized, you know, here, yes, there maybe it's a little bit of real estate. All right, looks like we're live on Facebook. So, hey, welcome everybody. Johnny Mo here representing Lab Code Agents. And I'm here with a special guest. I'm excited about this one. I'm here with Andre Polston from Listing Academy. And he obsesses on how to get listings for real estate agents. And he's going to be sharing some stuff. And I'm, I don't have to do much talking in this. Andre is going to be able to handle this and he's going to share some amazing information. So get your pens out, get your post, your, your, your notebooks out because you're going to take some notes. And Andre, welcome to the show, man. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Awesome. Thanks for having me. I'm excited and looking forward to this. Uh, are we, is everybody hearing me fine? Does everybody see me fine? Quick, quick, uh, just quick little question here for the chat box. Please type in the chat box. Let me know if you can hear me and if you can see me on camera too. All right. I'm getting yeses. Perfect. Awesome. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah. So I'm excited to be here today and let me know when you're ready for me to ju jump in and get going. Man, I am super ready. And, you know, just, just a brief overview of what we're talking about today, focus on helping agents get more listing, a little bit about what's possible with YouTube, which I think is probably the some place that agents neglect, but I think it's the most powerful place for them to be. So it's perfect timing, I think, for, for you and the content that you're going to be bringing and the methodology that you follow. Now, the methodology that you're going to present might not be for everybody. And that's okay because not everybody likes liver, okay? Some people do though. So the stuff that you're going to be sharing, I can promise you, I'm going to be taking a whole bunch of notes from it because I think that YouTube, because YouTube's owned by Google, is that powerful and that important. And listen, we all want one thing, more listings. This is going to help you get more listings, right, Andre? That's absolutely right. Cool, man. The floor is yours. Share with me and the whole audience with what you got. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, all right. So right before we dive into the content, I just want to say one thing. I do have a program that I sell. It is very expensive. And so I'm not selling it here today. Um, these When I do presentation webinars like this, I like to keep them 100% content for you guys. Uh, we're going to, I'm not, I have no bio that I'm going to talk about about me, nothing like that. I'm just going to nose dive into the content and let the content speak for itself. So I have nothing to sell you guys here today. I'm just going to give you some content. It's going to take about 25 minutes to get through it, 25 to 30 minutes. And then I will happily stick around for Q&A to answer as many questions as y'all may have uh, so that you can thoroughly understand it. Um, and then also, for those of you who are interested, next week I am doing a free three-day live boot camp where I'm actually going to be walking through the buttons. So like how to actually tactically go into YouTube and do some of what I'm going to share today, how to actually set up some of the funnels. And I'm going to be talking about paid stuff on YouTube and free organic stuff, which means you have to pay with your time, right? So but I just want to clarify that for you guys today. This is a pure content training, and I really would like for you to pay attention to this because what I'm going to show you can profoundly transform your business. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my whiteboard right now. I'm going to share my screen. And John, I'm going to ask you to confirm that you can see my screen. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. I can see your pitch deck there. Doc's Perfect. Up. Awesome. So as you guys know, the title for today's training is the new YouTube listing engine, the biggest opportunity of 2022 and 2023 beyond. Now, why do I say that? Because that sounds a little bit hyperbolic, right? Big claim. So let me share with you a listing paradigm shift that I had many years ago. And now what I constantly pound the drum about and what I share with all my students, my clients, et cetera. Okay. This is how I see it through my lens. And I've been in the real estate. Well, I got my real estate license when I was 23 years old. So that's 17 years now that I've been in real estate in one way or another. 
Most agents I see run marketing as one-off big kahuna efforts, the Hail Marys, right? And the way the rhythm goes is I see this most agents, and I used to be like this, most agents in a cycle of you make some money, you spend as much as you can to get new business and save the rest for bills and maybe a little bit of fun, right? And so really, if you take a step back and look at it from the mile high view, behaviorally, what that looks like is we're always trying to time the market, right? In some way, whether we're trying to time an upswing in season or volume, or we're trying to time the market in terms of like capturing a really good marketing campaign idea or a vendor offer in trying to negotiate for something with the money we do have. But we're always oftentimes playing this game of trying to time the market in some way so that we can create leverage, get leverage, create a springboard for more money. And we hope it pays off, right? This is where the financial roller coaster lives from my perspective and in my experience. This is kind of the root behind the financial roller coaster, the feast and famine cycle, or the boost and the, the, the boom and bust cycle. There's so many little catchphrases for it in our industry, right? But the idea is you go up, you go down, you go up, you go down. Why? So for me, what I've identified as the root cause is that our marketing is we tend to go for these, again, Hail Marys one-offs, big kahuna efforts in our marketing efforts and our lead generation efforts and our new business development efforts when we have the money. And when we don't have the money, well, if the effort that we just invested in two weeks ago, two months ago, whatever it might be, isn't paying off yet, we have a dip, a big dip, right? So there is no consistency, predictability, or compounding in our businesses. Now, for me, predictability is very sexy in business, right? I like unpredictability in life, adventures, vacation, fun stuff. But when it comes to my money and my business, predictability to me is incredibly attractive. So instead of trying to time the market with a big spend, which is big risk the way most agents do, I focus on staying in front of the market all the time with very little risk and never shutting off the marketing. This is what's so absolutely critical for anything I can teach you today philosophically before we get into the strategy, right? This part here is the philosophical setup so you understand how I'm coming at it. And then I'm gonna give you the, strat the overview of the strategy today on a digital whiteboard, I'm gonna draw it out, okay? My approach is completely radically different than how you'll see most agents spending their money on marketing. My approach is whatever you do, never stop doing it, never shut it off. So if you can't spend $5,000 every day, I'm of the mindset that don't spend $5,000 at all on any one thing, okay? So instead of spending $5,000 here or there, again, big risk, I focus on spending a daily amount that you know you can sustain and never turn off. For most agents, I find this is usually between five to $50 a day for most agents. And what happens here is you have small risk and you'll see in a minute, you actually harness compounding effort, which brings in predictability and consistency, okay? So here's the last slide I have on the philosophical setup, and then we're gonna go to the whiteboard. Unlike most businesses that sell commodity items, meaning somebody can whip out their wallet or their credit card or their checkbook and buy it on impulse, right? Buy it with a shopping cart online, walk into the store and buy a doodad or a widget. Unlike businesses that sell commodity items, as agents, we actually cannot create demand for our services. In fact, it's illegal to put out any kind of marketing that would actually create demand for your service, right? So if you're selling fishing lures, as an example, you could go pump out a bunch of ads on the internet, flyers and magazines, et cetera. You could go pump out a bunch of ads in marketing to create demand for fishing lures. And if your marketing was clever enough, your offer was good enough and your targeting was accurate enough, you'll probably make money. Our opportunity, meaning you and me as real estate professionals, our opportunity is restricted to the pre-existing demand in our market. That's it. There's no demand that you and I can create. So if people are selling, they're selling. And if they're not, they're not. Now, this might seem like I'm talking about something really mundane and simple, but it's actually very, very powerful when you understand and grasp the ramifications of it on a real estate agent's business. 
you have to understand this constraint because it will then dramatically shift how you see marketing. So instead of trying to time the market with a marketing push of some sort, some sort, the game, the game for us as real estate, as service-based real estate professionals who are restricted to only having pre-existing demand to serve, the game for us is to stay in front of the market all the time because you and I cannot predict when somebody will be ready to sell. Does that make sense? So if you're going to stay in front of the market all the time, it immediately forces you to find strategies, methods, and tactics that you're not going to be spending $5,000 a day on. Does that make sense? Because you and I know that in the next 12 months in your market, in whatever 15, 20, 25 mile radius you serve, we know that a percentage of people are going to be selling. We don't know exactly how many, we don't know exactly who, but we know that a percentage will, right? When those people are ready to sell, it's like they go from zero to here. They go from thinking about it, thinking about it, not taking action to suddenly they're researching and they're making calls within a day, two days or three days. I see this happen all the time, right? So you have to be staying in front of the market so that you're top of mind, so that when they think of selling, you want to be the first agent that they think of. The more people in your marketplace think of you when they think of real estate, when they think it's time to sell, the more phone calls and emails you're going to get. The more phone calls and emails you get, by default, as a byproduct, you'll get more listings. It's not rocket science, right? But that's simple. That's it's literally that simple. That's how I focus on the real estate game. So now what I want to do is I want to focus on the A strategy. I have a few core methods. One of my methods is called pixel prospecting. So where does that come from? One of the biggest constraints that we as agents have is our time, right? And when we're busy with clients, we're not prospecting. And when we're prospecting, that means we're not busy with clients, so we don't have any business. And so that's another part of the boom and bust, you know, roller coasters that we're mo so many of us are on. So the way pixel prospecting works, if you understand what pixeling and retargeting is on the internet, it's all about pixeling people on the internet who show some level of interest in your real estate related content, and then harnessing, leveraging the pixel to simply keep following up with them or prospecting them with retargeting, meaning more content from you without you ever having to do any additional work. So for example, the way this works is you would record a video, run it as an ad on YouTube. People see the video. If they engage with the percentage of it, you have Google slash YouTube pixel them, that device, and then you follow them around with more videos. So it's because when I ever ask people, how many follow-ups and touches does it take to convert a lead? If they're actually going to convert, most people say 12 to 15. That's what I get from most people. So what I'm going to show you here today allows you to follow, follow up with somebody 12 to 15 times, with, but only do all the work one time up front. So let me give you one of the methods and approaches. So here we are on YouTube, right? I'm on a live YouTube account here. I'm out on the internet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this and hopefully I'm going to trigger an ad of some sort. I just want to show you what, what I'm talking about here. That's not, that didn't give, here we go. Perfect, right? So this is an ad. We've all seen this before a million times, right? We go to YouTube and we start watching a video and before we can get to the video, a pop-up ad talks up, shows up, okay? The specific strategy that I'm gonna, method that I'm gonna focus on today is putting up paid ads on YouTube that run like this and interrupt people. Now, why would I say you should interrupt people and run videos like this? Here's why. Step back for a second. Facebook and Google are locked in holy mortal combat over trying to get more advertising dollars. Advertising dollars is you and me. Business owners willing to spend money to try to reach our prospects and our clients. Within that battle, video marketing is a priority for both giants, Facebook and Google. So what they're doing is they're trying to make the best tools, data, and opportunities available to advertisers, you and me, through video marketing so that we choose one over the other. In that mortal combat that they're locked in, there's an opportunity for the little guy like you and me. Okay, and here's how it works. So if you can see my whiteboard here, I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit. There are five primary ways that you can target ads like this on YouTube so that they're not just blind spray and pray ads. Okay, those ways are geography, 
That makes sense, right? So you put in, uh, you put in your market and you have your, you have your general geographic area. But here's the additional ways that you can target. You can target based upon income, all right? Google has this data on a large percentage of the population. What's the, and I'm gonna unpack this a little bit more for you guys so it makes sense why I'm excited about it and why it's such a giant opportunity. You can also target people based upon websites that they've been visiting recently. You can also target people based upon keyword search. And you can target people based upon something Google calls in market, meaning they, based upon some secret black box data, believe that this person is prone or likely to do X kind of thing or be interested in X kind of thing currently, okay? So a lot of, a lot of techno jargon here, right? What does this all mean if we boiled it down to just brass tacks for a real estate agent? Okay, here's what it means. I am in St. Petersburg, Florida. Okay, so let me pull up a map and make it like real world for you. I'm in St. Pete, all right, right next to Tampa. So for me, for example, I would probably, ideally, ideally, I want all the listings around downtown St. Petersburg, but let's say that I'm willing to serve the entire just kind of peninsula area here, right? So here's how this would work for you and how it can work for me. What you do is, let's say, so I know my geography is, we call, we'll consider that one of the layers of targeting, and this is St. Pete, okay? If you have a notepad and pen, follow along. Now, the next thing that I can do is I can decide to blend targeting with keyword search. Now, what does that mean? Here's where it's really, really freaking powerful. This is about to turn on some light bulbs for you. Google owns YouTube, right? You already knew that. Okay. What that means is Google is able to share all the data between Google and YouTube. So when somebody goes to google.com, a homeowner in your market tomorrow morning wakes up and says, all right, been putting it off long enough, time to figure out who to find to sell this house and how to sell my house. And they type in how to sell my house in St. Petersburg, Florida, right? or how to pick a real estate agent, or how to sell my house fast, or any kind of search phrase related to what you and I know a homeowner would be searching when they're beginning their, their journey online. When somebody searches that phrase on Google in your market or in my market tomorrow morning, Google knows about it. So guess what? I can tell Google, target people that search these 5, 10, 15 killer search phrases that I know are people with serious intent about researching how to sell a home and make sure that they're in St. Pete. So now what happens is this ad that seems like a random interruption ad tomorrow morning would only be popping up for people that live in St. Pete and have been searching very recently on Google search phrases that communicate and indicate extremely high intent of probably needing to sell their home soon. So this ad on Google and in YouTube, it's not blind. It's not spray and pray, okay? It's actually a lot more targeted than you would possibly imagine. Now, I could dig this even a little bit deeper. I could also add... I could add websites visited recently. And you go, what does that mean? Well, let me explain it to you. Actually, let's do the chat box for quick. John, can you see the chat box if people type in the chat box? Yes, sir. Uh, right. What do we got let's, here? I want to ask these questions. What are some websites that serious home sellers would visit when they're preparing to sell their home? And I want you to read me off a couple of websites, John, because I can't see the chat box. Sure. Realtor.com, Zillow, Zillow. I think those are going to be the two main ones for sure. Realtor.com, Zillow, okay. Upnest, Trulia. Okay, that's good enough. So we'll just leave it with those three. All right, thank you, John. So Realtor.com was one, one that was mentioned. Zillow.com was another one that was mentioned. And Trulia was another one. And of course, we're not even digging into um, moving websites like uhaul.com. We're not digging into all kinds of other niche little websites that once you actually sit down and think about, okay, when somebody goes to sell their home, what do they actually start thinking about, right? What are they researching? 
there's a whole list of websites out there that are that too. So what I can do on Google in YouTube is say, I want you to show my ad, this ad on, on YouTube when it pops up, I want you to show it to people, Mr. Google, Mr. YouTube, only to people who live in my market, uh, have searched one of these 20 phrases or 15 phrases in the last 30 days, and have visited one of these 15, 20, 30, 40 prime websites in the last 30 days. Because you and I know that most likely, for the most part, people are not going to be visiting heavily real estate centric websites unless there's some sort of real estate intent behind it. Now, Zillow's such a monster that they, there's a lot of people that go to it just to be tire kickers, right? But this is where the power of blending comes in. You blend targeting people who did search phrases and visited some websites recently. And here's the beautiful part. Google is global, but you're only spending money to show this pop-up ad before be, uh, you're only showing money to show this pop-up ad to people who live where you want, where you want the listings in your market. St. Pete. So this is why I call it a listing engine. So here's what you do. You record, a, I'm going to give you a video script right now, word for word. I'm going to read it to you. You record a simple video script that's two minutes long. Okay. And I'm going to give you a very specific framework on how to do it. And I'm going to show you why it's absolutely important to do it the way I'm talking about. So you're going to record a video, right? You're going to put it up and then here's how it works. You put five to $20 a day on the campaign. Okay. And you let it run for a few couple of weeks. You figure out the data of which version or which campaign or which targeting is working best because you can mix and match this kind of targeting. So I would recommend always doing three to five of different kinds of targeting and test two different video ads and then just let them compete for a week to two weeks. See which one is the best or two are the best. Delete the rest. And then guess what? You'll leave the two, one or two winners there and you just check on them every few days to make sure nothing's going wonky. And now they're working in the background 24 seven around the clock, like a little oil pump, just pumping oil for you out of the ground. Metaphorically speaking, it's a listing engine that's humming in the background. And this is one approach that gets you off that proverbial roller coaster that I was talking about earlier. Spend big money. Then you got busy working with the clients so that you generate the leads. And of course you don't have any money to spend anymore up and down, up and down with this approach. It's about putting out multiple different channels that can bring an opportunity for you on a daily basis at a spend that you can afford to run forever and never turn off. Now what happens? In the next 30, 60, 90 days, let's say what, there's four months left in the year? Yeah. So the next four months in this year, there's going to be people that are going to sell. All right. Don't tell me the stuff about holidays or Christmas or that's a, that's a load of hogwash. People sell every month, every week, every day, all the freaking time. Right? So in the next four months, there's going to be people that are going to be selling in your market. You and I don't know when they're going to go on the internet to start their, their search and their, and their, and their decision-making process, but we know that, that they will most likely start on the internet. So what you do is you put up multiple campaigns like this on YouTube. Then there's other methods I have for Facebook and other stuff. And then you just have it sitting there waiting. And because, you can, uh, because my methods are all super cheap on a daily basis, you get to have it running all the time. So you're not trying to play a game of timing the market hit or miss. Now, let me give you a script. Let me read you a script word for word here um, that, can, uh, that, that works really well. And then I'll explain to you why it works well, okay? Hey, if you live here in Pittsburgh, so again, this, imagine this is the video script on YouTube, except here's how you would do it. You record it into your smartphone, holding the video, holding your phone horizontal because YouTube is the one platform that's still horizontal. Hold it horizontal. And the, the best performing way to do this, hear me, no green screen. Go outside into your marketplace and try to have something in the background that when people see it, they're like, oh, this cat's in St. Petersburg like me. So when I, where I live in St. Pete, there's like a few different landmarks around the town that are like easily recognizable if you live in St. Pete. So I would start a video with that right behind me. So I'm looking at the phone 
that landmark is behind me. So guess what happens? Not only am I hyper-targeting people based upon this crazy good layer, layer targeting that Google is making available to us because they're locked in the aforementioned Mortal Kombat with Facebook, but then on top of that, so not only is my targeting super precise, but on top of that, those people, when they see my face or your face pop up, they don't know us from Adam's house, cat, right? But when they see the sundial or the waterfront or the pier in St. Pete, they're like, oh, wait, this person's, this person's in my town. Wait, this is local. What is this? So that gets a lean in, right? That lean in of like, what's this? Curiosity. Now, I'm going to read the script all the way through for the sake of time. And then I'm going to deconstruct it very quickly. And then we're going to wrap up today and do q and if, if you live here in St. Pete and you're planning on selling your home soon and you're not sure where to start, but you want to sell your house for the highest price possible, then this video is for you. Here's the deal. Buyers make their best offers on the houses they see as the best buy on the block. The only way buyers can decide which house is the best is by comparing your home to other houses for sale. So your competition makes a big difference in how much you will sell for. I've put together a checklist of nine things every homeowner who is selling in St. Pete should do to prepare their home to sell. Because these nine things give you the most bang for your buck. They're not expensive. They don't take a lot of time to do, but they make a big difference in how your home compares to other houses for sale. So if you want to make sure your house is seen as the best buy in the block so you can get the highest and best offers from buyers, then click the button below download my free home seller checklist. It's a simple PDF that lists out everything you can do in a couple of weekends and a few hundred bucks that can make a difference of thousands or maybe even tens of thousands of dollars when it's time to sell. My name is Andre Polson. I'm with eXp Realty here in St. Petersburg, Florida. I specialize in helping St. Pete homeowners sell their homes for the highest price possible. So go ahead and click the button below grab my home seller checklist PDF for free so you can start preparing with confidence and get the best offers from buyers. Bingo. All right. Now, the, first, the most important part of this script is the very first, very, very, very first uh, uh, paragraph. Here's why. Hear me very, very carefully on this. This is called the call-out framework. I learned this from Frank Kern, if you know who he is. Call-out framework. You identify who the video is for, what's in it for them, and what you're going to talk about. And the idea here, this is going to sound weird, but it's actually inverse. The idea here is to get people who are not homeowners looking to sell to click off the video immediately. Got it? Because remember what I said earlier, we already got some ninja level targeting going on on the back end with Google because Google's big brother knows everything about everything, right? So we already got the targeting in place. So now what we want to do is with our script, we want to get people who are not thinking about selling to skip our ad, right? Because you and I both know you watch this ad, right? And when five seconds is up, I can skip it right here. See that button pops up and says skip ad. Now, here's what's really important. By saying identify, and here's the things you're saying. You identify the city, so St. Pete or your market. You say if you're a homeowner and you're planning to sell soon, so do they... Do they live in the city, your market? Do they own a home? Are they thinking about selling? And then you identify the one thing that we know every single serious home seller is obsessing about. How much can they sell for? Right? If you want to sell for the highest price possible. And then you say, this video is for you. The idea there is you're calling out exactly who the video is for. So everybody else leaves and skips. Here's why this is so freaking fantastic. And I'm going to end it here. YouTube and Google do not charge you if somebody skips your video ad before 30 seconds is up. Let that sink in. It takes me seven to 10 seconds to say this, if even that long. The first paragraph. If in the first five seconds I say that and they're not interested and they click skip ad, you never, never spend money on that. To me, that's crazy because the overall branding opportunity is still massively insane because people will still see you popping up on ads with your face. And then six months later, when they are serious about selling, if they've been seeing you for a while, they kind of recognize you already, right? Now, if they are interested after hearing this script, this video script, right, the opener, and they like what everything else you have to say, 
percentage of them will click the link, go to your landing page and download your free home seller checklist, right? Furthermore, even if they don't, if they watch past 30 seconds, you can pixel them for retargeting and then just follow them around on the internet with more and more and more videos over 60, 90, 180 days, okay? Now, I'm limited on time here today, so we're going to wrap it up here on a little bit of a cliffhanger, but let me do this for you. Like I said, I don't have anything to sell to you today, and what I sell is super expensive anyway, so it's not for everybody. Here's my offer to you, and then we'll go to Q&A. Are you ready for this hard sell? Get ready. Put on your helmet. Put in your mouth guard. If you would like to attend a free, 100% free, three-day live online on Zoom boot camp next week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, okay? Email me right now to andre at findtraction.com. That's my email address. There it is right there on the screen. I'll make it even bigger. So hopefully it's easy, easy to see. Andre at findtraction.com. Just shoot me an email, okay? And I will reply to you within the next day or two with a link to register for free. It's just a Zoom link to register for the free three-day boot camp that I'm running next week. So it's timely that we're doing this webinar for lab code agents here today for your guys' community. What I'm gonna do on this three-day boot camp is I'm gonna recap a little bit about what you've shared, heard me share here today. But more importantly, I'm actually gonna go log into YouTube and I'm gonna set up one of these campaigns from scratch, button by button by button. So this is a look over my shoulder boot camp where you watch me do it live, okay? Furthermore, I'm going to show you the uh, I'm going to show you the check the checklist template that I use, okay? That my students use, and then I'm going to show you what happens after folks click the button and download the checklist. What happens then? How do you get them to engage? How do you get them to convert, Andre? There's a whole little chain and sequence. I'm a very programmatic thinker. I used to be a project engineer before I became a real estate agent. So for me, everything has to flow step by step and swim lanes. So I've got this whole little like magical formula mapped out. At least that's how I think of it. And of course, I think of it that way because it's my formula, right? We're all biased. But what I'm going to do for three days next week is I'm going to walk you through it step by step. Okay. And then during that time, I will also then educate you on what my actual paid program is, what we do, how we do it. And if you think it's for you, and if you think it's actually reasonable and affordable for you, because it is expensive, but if you think it's affordable, then, you know, we, we can get in touch then, but three free day bootcamp next week. I'm going to walk you through specifically recap what I just shared here today. I'm going to log into YouTube, set it all up. We'll let you watch my screen, do it. I'm going to show you my uh, checklist template. I'm then going to show you my funnel afterwards, what happens with people after they download. And I'm going to show you how to set up one of these listing engines A through Z. And then, oh, and, and I will be uh, trying to record those calls and send them out, but I highly encourage you to show up for the live calls again, if you're interested. So if you're interested, nothing to buy here today, nothing to pay, email me to andrefindtraction.com. And again, this is free. So the three days is free. And then if you want to do more with me and my team afterwards, I certainly will let you know what the options are and what's available. All right. So that's what I got to share with you guys today. This is the listing engine. This is the opportunity. And I think it is the single biggest opportunity right now for real estate agents going into the rest of 2022 and 2023, because when giants like Google and Facebook fight for our advertising dollars by making things cheaper, better technology, better data, Big opportunity for us if we know how to pull the right levers and press, press the right buttons and set things up. And with this right here, you can, be, you can have it running for 15, 20, 25 bucks a day, never shut it off. And every time somebody wakes up in your market tomorrow morning or the next or next week, you can be popping up in front of them because of Google's big brother level targeting. So that's me. You're on mute. Ah, I was on mute because my daughter came home and she she's one of the loudest people I know. Anyways, um, awesome stuff, dude. I 100% believe in the power of YouTube because YouTube is owned by Google. So you get the number one tool, the number one search engine, the number one visited website powered by the number two uh, search engine because people are yep. using yeah, YouTube, YouTube as a search yeah. engine. But you're able to use YouTube in your SEO on Google. There's so much power there. Yep. Um, and let me just ask a quick question, just because I know some people may be having this uh, question. You're talking about opt-ins and funnels and those types of things. And you're with eXp, which eXp provides KV Core, which to me is a basic, simple uh, CRM, if you would. 
are you using something like uh, I uh, something like a um, KV core or are you using something more advanced for that opt in or is that something you'll get into later? Great question. I will be to getting into all the technology stuff next week, but I'm happy to answer that now. I am personally against ever using a software provided by a brokerage where the brokerage can control any part of, part of my business later. So okay. for my landing page tools, I use ClickFunnels. Okay. Right. And for my CRM, I use Line Desk. Okay. I believe in owning all your data. Mm -hmm. And when you're running your own marketing and investing into it, you should own everything that comes out of it. So I use ClickFunnels for landing pages and I use Line Desk for CRM. It has all the perfect. functionality I need and it's like 49 bucks a month. Yeah, that's perfect. That is, that is short money. So uh, I just wanted to ask that. And listen, man, so there was a couple questions in here and I think you covered them, but I just want to see if I can get them. Somebody asked, can you run regional ads? Yes, you can, right? And that yep. was the first yep. number one was by geography. Uh, somebody asked, do you have an idea how much the ads are if it is watched after 30 seconds? I don't know if that is an answerable question because there's too right many now, Right now, we're averaging three cents of you. Okay. Three cents, or, of three cents of you is the average for for some of the for a lot of the ads that my students and done for you clients are running. Yeah, and it's Andre at find f i n d traction t r a c e t i o n dot com. Email him. Some people said that they've already messaged you. Somebody said, and you've answered this. Uh, if they get a recording, if they miss any of the lives, uh, and you had mentioned that you will try to get those out, but show up to the lives. Show up yes. Oh, and also they're not an all day boot camp, So they're going to last each call for, so it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but each call is going to be about an hour to an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. So it's not an all day thing, but I am going to be showing up and basically giving away the farm for three days in a row. And it's going to be about an hour and a half each. And the reason why I'm doing it that way is so that people can learn something and go implement it by call number two. And they come back to call number two with questions and then also implement from call number two. So we stagger out some, the, we, I'm not trying to overwhelm people with a five hour boot camp all at once. So it's sure. three days and it's going to be about an hour to an hour and a half each day. Right. Awesome. Uh, somebody asked, do you get analytics on how many people watched and for how long like they do on the videos? I believe you do through your analytics. Correct. Um, Inside YouTube, you get a whole ton of analytics. Yeah. Google is great like that. Uh, what days and times somebody's asking? I think you said Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Yeah. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're still figuring out the time, but it's most likely going to be somewhere. Well, we'll see. Uh, I think we're going to be an evening slot just because I want to make sure that every, as many people as possible can attend. Um, and usually folks have more time in the evening. So I think we're going to be doing Eastern time evening, um, Pacific time early evening, but I'm still dialing that in, but it is going to be towards the evening and it's going to be Wednesday, Thursday, Friday of next week. Yeah. And somebody asked, uh, I think it was an addition to the question on analytics uh, to see like 50 people watched versus three people clicked. Yeah. You'll be able to see that. You'll be able to see what your Correct. cost per click was. You'll, yep. you'll be able to see all that stuff on the back end of your ads manager for sure. And next week when I'm doing the boot camp, I'm going to show you guys how to see all that stuff. So I'm going to be logging into and showing you how to do it. Yeah. Listen, guys, I really do believe that YouTube, um, I mean, it's a game changer. Me let me just say this about Facebook versus YouTube, because you're talking about the two bigs and I'm going to talk about how important what you're talking about is because it's something that we've changed the whole direction of how we're marketing our company. Um, Facebook got hammered where they settled a lawsuit um, with the uh, HUD. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the yeah. thing about when you're going up against the government is the government has endless money and nothing but time. Right. Yep. Uh, so and they come around every couple of years, just like the Department of Justice snoops around the uh, NAR to come up with, you know, lawsuits and things like that, which cost everybody millions and millions, tens of millions of dollars. Nobody wants to fight it because, again, they have endless funds. So as a result, Facebook audiences are dramatically ch have dramatically changed. There's a lot of custom audiences that we're not allowed to use anymore. So you have to build these audiences slightly different. So Facebook mm -hmm. is going through problems right now they're going through an adjustment youtube facebook i think is the most powerful place to be and then when you incorporate your google business tools with that and google announcements and those types of things you can really uh build a powerful engine for yourself you really can so i hope everybody that's listening everybody that's going to watch this over the next couple of days takes advantage of this situation takes the three-day boot camp because you know the price is right it's free and you don't have anything but time whether they're recorded or not i don't know show up to the live sessions email you 
right? Yeah, email. Andre, traction. Let me share my screen again, just so everybody can see it. But uh, just email me here and I'll email you back the link. That's it. S email Andre. It's free. Andre at fine I want to thank you uh, for sharing what you did, man. You, I took a bunch of notes. I hope everybody else did. And I really think that this can become a game changer once you figure out Right. It's not as simple as putting a video out and boom, there you are. Right. You got to test it. You got to try yeah. the videos out and things like that. But once you find what works for you, that that proper funnel, I think you can take it out of the park. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And there's one last question. I'll answer is David asks, is there a script download available today? No, but for people who come to my boot camp, I will give you the checklist template for free. And I will give you a few video scripts for free that you can just take and use. That's absolutely awesome. Cool, man. Uh, well, I appreciate you. I appreciate your time, everybody. Thank you for showing up, listening live. And if you're watching it on the replay, thank you for watching it on the replay. Um, thank you. You got it. Thank you, everybody.